Hey stylish fans, Elizabeth Cott here. Today we're checking out the closet of Emily Schumann of Cupcakes and Cashmere, one of my favorite destinations online. I'm very interested in hearing how she went from working at Condé Nast to now having a national bestseller. And I'm sure her closet is pretty impressive too. Let's go check it out. My name is Elizabeth Cott, and I believe you can learn a lot about a person from the contents of their wardrobe. Join me and get inspired as I take you into the esteemed closets of celebrities and fashion icons. We'll then choose items from their closet to be auctioned off, and through eBay, you can bid on some of their favorite pieces and make your closet richer. The proceeds will be donated to benefit a cause close to their heart. This is Closet Rich. Nice to see you. So good to see you. Thank you for having me today. Oh, of course. Come on in. Sure will. Thank you so much for having me. I've been such a long time fan of yours. Oh, thank you. And Cupcakes and Cashmere. How did you get started with it? I got started with Cupcakes and Cashmere. I was really bored at my day job. I was working in advertising. I had come from the magazine side. I worked at Condé Nast at both Teen Vogue and Domino magazines and, and really just wanted to kind of create a place that, that housed everything that inspired me and decided to write about a little bit of everything. A little fashion, food, interior design, beauty. And it's a little bit of like a Martha Stewart meets Carrie Bradshaw. And with the goal of always having things be aspirational, I want to inspire, but also have it be attainable so that people can actually take what they see and incorporate it into their lives. It really is all-encompassing. What was the moment when you realized, oh, people other than my friends and my family are interested in, in this? There were a few magazine write-ups, and then I think the thing that really sealed the deal was when Coach approached me and asked me to be part of a program that they were doing with several other bloggers to create my own bag in collaboration with them. What was that like? It was extremely intimidating. I was really one of the only ones involved that had no prior knowledge or experience in terms of designing anything. So I kind of stuck with my gut and, and went with something that was a little bit unpredictable, but it, it did really well and sold out. So I'm, I'm really happy with the whole process. And then I came out with, with my book that's now a national bestseller. And then um, <laughs> it was a little bit of a busy year. I love the recipes. Those are kind of my favorite thing about Thank you. cupcakes and cashmere. Do you research other sites for recipes? I do. I take recipes from everywhere. The other day I was reaching for a granola bar and I was eating it and I was feeling a little bad about it just because it was, <laughs> it, I had no idea what was inside of it. So I found a recipe online for granola bars. So it's all about kind of finding inspiration and then kind of recreating it myself. You always look so beautifully put together <laughs> on the website. Tell me, is that all the time? Or when you're not working, is there kind of a go-to ensemble? some boyfriend jeans and a t-shirt and ballet flats. I'm not always in a full face of makeup with my hair done. A lot of times I just keep it really casual. As you know, we always love to have our fashionistas kind of grab a few pieces for a foundation. Yes. What foundation are you choosing? I've chosen the Lang Foundation, which is an animal shelter. It's actually where we got one of our cats, Luna. It's just something that I wholeheartedly support. Any chance that I can give back to a wonderful shelter, I, I jump at the chance. Wonderful. So I'm dying to see your closet. Let's do so it. excited. Awesome. Cool. Let's go. Come on. I notice you have quite the dress collection, which is very impressive. Any favorites you want to show? When it comes to all-time favorites, I've got to say this one. This was uh, actually one of the most expensive pieces that I had ever purchased at the time. It was an Anna Sui for anthropology. It has a special meaning because I was wearing this the day that I met my now husband. I love that. You'll hold on to it forever. I Sentimental will. Sentimental value or not. Yes. <laughs> this is one of my all-time favorites. I found this at Shireen Vintage downtown, and it basically combines everything that I love. Kind of a longer sweater so you can do a lot of different things with it. You can wear a short skirt or skinny jeans and ballet flats. The boat neck, I love stripes. Everything yeah. that any vintage piece should be <laughs> wrapped into one. Yeah. And I recognize that guy up yes. there. Yes, let me grab this for you. you so this is the bag that I designed with Coach. 
And it's great because it can really take you from season to season and really kind of goes with everything. I see it as a complete neutral. So anything you, you wore in the book? I kind of recognize yes. this dress right over here. All right. That was a loaded question. So yes. Um, so this actually is what I wore on the cover. I felt like it kind of epitomized cupcakes and cashmere with the signature pink. This is just a classic shift dress. It's Diane von Furstenberg. And this is actually one of the pieces that I will be donating. This is, oh my um, gosh. This is a dress that means a lot to me. It's a special piece, but I feel like this could be the ideal thing for kind of getting some great funds for the Lang Foundation. Amazing. This and it's DVF, it's classic, it's beautiful, and that's such an important piece of your story. So that's so cool that you're selling that with us. We yes. appreciate that. Oh, it is my pleasure. I'm also going to include a copy of my book, which I will sign. Love that. A nice little package. Thank you. This is one of my favorite dresses. It's like five pounds. It's <laughs> intricately beaded. This is a Parker dress. You can wear it with like a black matte tight with black shoes to just get that really great streamlined silhouette. It has the ruching sides. So this is actually another piece that I'm going to be giving away so that the proceeds can go to the Lang Foundation, but yeah, I think anytime you can add a little sparkle, that's when to really bring it up. Thank you so much for oh, letting me come in your closet course. today. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. It's such a treat, and uh, keep on doing what you're doing with cupcakes and cashmere. I adore it, and I know so many of your fans do as well. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it, and it was wonderful having you awesome. here today. How cool is Emily Schumann? And I am so inspired by the story of how Cupcakes and Cashmere came to be. And now you can own two pieces from her beautiful wardrobe, as well as a signed copy of her best-selling book. It's great. All you need to do is check out the information below. It'll take you over to the eBay sale with all of the proceeds going to her charity of choice, the Lang Foundation. Next time on Closet Rich, we're hanging out with Layla Kaylee from MTV's America's Best Dance Crew. She's a one badass chick and I can't wait for you to hear her story and check out her wardrobe. Until then, stay closet rich. Anything recently that didn't work out that didn't make it on the site? I've gotten to a point where there aren't that many disasters in the kitchen anymore. Um, but when I first started, I would make brownies that would come out like hockey pucks. They were just absolutely <laughs> disgusting. You know, it's always trial and error in the kitchen. Just kind of have fun with it.